Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. Another set of curved dome-shaped coins from the United States Mint, this time honoring the Basketball Hall of Fame. Let's explore! Yes, this uh, was released, uh, the designs for the new coins that will be released in 2020, commemorative coins for the Basketball Hall of Fame. As many of you remember, it was a big deal in 2014 when it was the U.S. Mint's first foray into dome-shaped curved coins. Uh, even though other mints have been doing it for quite a while before uh, the United States Mint has, it was uh, the those coins, the baseball commemorative coins, did very well, very nice pieces indeed, um, and it was quite a buzz. Well, since the Apollo 11 coins uh, in 2019 this year, uh, they're also doing very well. Now they're going to do the Basketball Hall of Fame coins in 2020. So the U.S. Mint has unveiled proposed designs for the upcoming dome-shaped coins. We're going to explore these as directed by public law. The U.S. Mint in 2020 will issue $5 gold coins, silver dollars, and clad half dollars in recognition of the 60th anniversary of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. The program of commemorative coins will share designs with reverses, tail size depicting a basketball, and their obverse is head size, emblematic of the game of basketball. Possible reverse designs were developed by the U.S. Mint, while potential obverse designs came from a public design competition. These candidates were presented today for review by the Citizens Coinage Advisory Committee. The Commission of Fine Arts will look at them over on Thursday, July the 18th. The Secretary of the Treasury will select the final designs after receiving recommendations from both committees and consulting with liaisons of Naismith uh, Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. So here are some of the candidates here. And we can see already these two designs are very unappealing, uh, very plain. This one here is, um, uh, and, uh, and just, yeah, it's a no for me on that one. This one, in theory, I kind of like the unique perspective of showing a slam dunk, but I can't help think of the crotch shot on this one. Uh, as your eyes are kind of geared more towards the feet, the knees, and then finally focusing right there. And so that's a no for me on that one, too. Uh, these two are kind of cool in a way, but... Um, you know, I and I do like this kind of aspect. You know, taking a look down from above on the on the hoop itself and the netting in there, and um, I could probably go for one of these. However, there are other examples of this I think which will work better. But those are my personal uh, appear, uh, um, opinions on the matter. Here we see two hands going for a basketball. The focus I think is too much on the hands. Very little of the basketball there. Um, so I would say this one probably is not my uh, favorite. Uh, this one here is, I think, kind of a cool way to show the uh, looking down through the hoop and you see the uh, the basketball there. But it's kind of a strange because it's like they're trying to get the ball right after it gets out of the hoop. I uh, don't know if that would translate so well. I'm not sure, but uh, we'll see here. And then here's another two hands going up for the basketball. Now, this is an example of one that I think could possibly do well, but this almost looks like a wheel and of a spokes and a wheel. So I don't know that that would do as well here. This one is abysmal. I don't know what kind of crack they were smoking when they thought of this design, but that's just horrid. I hope they don't choose that one. Me, as a collector of commemorative coins, um, I've got to get them no matter what the design is to keep the collection updated. First world problems here, but nonetheless here. This is kind of um, almost too predictable for a design, um, although it's kind of nice. But uh, I think for what being that the coins are curved, I think there's they need to take advantage of the concave curved nature of the coin. More on that in a moment as we explore other designs here. Here we see another with hands going up towards the ball. It almost looks like they're just kind of waving. They're not really playing basketball. Too many hands waving and not uh, only one touching the ball there. It's very strange. This one is just kind of strange, uh, weird. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that one either. Now, this co coin here um, shows different players 
this almost looks like a volleyball player more than a more than a. These two players look like they're playing volleyball, not basketball. This one is the only one that looks like he's playing basketball. This coin here, I think, probably has the best chance uh, in or the best uh, appearance for the concave side of this particular uh, coin. I like that it's kind of looking down from on top, and of course that convex nature or concave nature will really uh, explore or kind of expand this idea. I like this design because of the symmetry. I'm big on symmetry and coin design anyway. But the fact that you see the floor underneath of it, that could be very faint. I think that gives a level of detail that would be really cool. And then a very uniform version of the net above the rim. So far, this one's my favorite of the designs. And this one shows sort of an off-center, but this looks more like a spider web than a net because there's no context. There's nothing else. There's no rim, whereas this has the rim of the net and then the words on the outside there. And plus, the letters are all mumbled, jumbled up in the middle there. It's unappealing. This one here <coughs> is okay, but it looks like a cheap metal more than a coin. Uh, so I would probably pass on that one. This is okay. Um, but I think if you're going to have somebody about ready to dunk a basketball, there better be a net for them to dunk it into. This one is well designed. They're all reaching for this ball and very nice. Um, yes, they even have um, uh, someone in a wheelchair uh, going up for the basketball, playing on the same team as other people. Of course, there's a woman in there. So the political correctness aspect of the nature, I think, kind of uh, makes it a little bit unappealing. Um, but also... The fact that it, you know, it's not taking advantage, not really utilizing that concave nature. I think it doesn't play well with that. Uh, but it is a well designed. They're all reaching for that ball, which is pretty cool. There's another play with a sort of symmetry, but it's that looks more like barbed wire than it does netting. Moving down here is the obverse. I like uh, this one here. I think that's a very nice for symmetry. It's really cool. Now the baseball commemorative that have an off center uh, kind of look to it. Um, uh, looking at it from the angle. So this one could serve well too, but I think if you're going to use the, my favorite design here, this one for the, uh, for the one side, for the obverse, I believe for the reverse, the convex side, they should use this one. I think that would be the most appropriate or this one here. Um, but I think this one probably would serve better, but that one's not bad either. Uh, again, plays with the basketball. With different various levels of how the ball is is uh, handled uh, for the different styles here. Here's another one going through the hoop on one side. Um, almost like that might be looking from underneath. And that might do okay, looking at the ball from underneath. And then the other one would be from on top. That might serve well. Um, and then also, there's other versions here. Kind of cool seeing it come through the hoop here and other various uh, measures here. Now this one here is pretty interesting. I kind of like this concept where the basketball is the O of of the word of there. Um, but then you have them kind of reaching up a man and a woman playing against each other. I guess that's conceivable. Again, political correctness, trying to include everybody and everything in the coin design. So there you go, there's the designs. Uh, what are your thoughts? What are some of your favorite designs? Uh, with these uh, with these pieces here. And then uh, Donald New Mexico made me aware that there's potential that these designs may incorporate colorization. Um, they're considering colorizing, which um, I'm not really a big fan of. Eastman has never added color to coins, although they did use rose gold for the breast cancer awareness coins. But it is, here's a quote, the United States Mint is considering the use of colorization to the commemorative coin program, commented April Stafford, a director of the U.S. Mint's Office of Design Management. I stress the word considering. The final basketball designs would play a large part in driving an eventual decision. The use of color would be subtle and limited to silver and clad coins. And any colorization would happen only after intense research and development to ensure the quality of the coins would be of the highest regard. Other world mints like the Royal Canadian Mint, Royal Australian Mint, Perth Mint in Australia, the British Pop Joint Mint have a long history of producing and selling coins with color. Now, there you go. 
So we'll see if that happens. Um, uh, but yeah, so we'll see. It'll be interesting to see how this design, I think there's something, you know, this, this particular program with these designs can either turn out really nice or really badly. Um, and we'll see how they, what they choose. Um, boy, I hope they don't choose this design. This is horrid. But we'll see how it all plays out. Post your thoughts below. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching. And encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.